What's up everybody? Today we'll be talking about what I consider the best collaboration in quite some time. It's not the most hyped one, but I do think the execution of this collaboration was epic. Right after this, or stay tuned, or <laughs> roll the, whatever. What's up YouTube at DBKS underscore daddy here with a long overdue video of stuff about stuff that I like, which is shoes. And today we have a couple pairs, as you can see in these boxes right here. This is what I actually think is probably one of the best collaborations in quite some time. I know you have your unions, you have your Travis Scott's, you have all these hyped collaborations with Supreme or Bait or Bape or whatever. Uh, but what I actually think is one of the best collaborations of 2020, even though it's, 2020 has been kind of a rough year for us already, uh, I do think this is one of the best collaborations and it's by the good folks over at New Balance. And if you are a ball player or are a ball player, you should know this gum right here. It's one of the most epic gums of all time with an enormous amount of flavors that just make you feel like a ball player. That is our Big League Chew. So let's go ahead and get right into it. What we have here are two pairs. I was only my, uh, because I don't get these sent to me because I'm still a low budget and low followers uh, compared to other sneaker people, YouTube channel. Uh, I have to actually pay for these. And due to the fact that we are a little bit on lockdown and money's kind of tight. So I don't want to say I only got two pairs, but I did only get grab two pairs of the four that were released. Uh, there was a sour apple. Uh, I don't remember the other one. The two I got were the ones that I was trying to get because I wanted the colors uh, for more so for work. One of them I'm still on the fence. The other one is for sure like it's not going anywhere. But one of them is on the fence still, so we'll go ahead and get into that right now. Let's go through the first one. Uh, they don't have colors on it, so the way you can distinguish it though is with the bags um this is what, this is why i think things so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna go and close this one right here i'll put this one down right now but let's go ahead and get into this one right here this one out of the two is my least favorite but this is what i think is why it's the best collaboration it literally comes in a bag like the bag of gum that you would get on the box really quick you had the new balance and the big league chew collaboration signified by the bats for the X, instead of an X, it's actually bats. It's by New Balance, so it's a quality product. Uh, I've just been on this big new up balance wave as of late, and I don't know, maybe it's because I'm old and I'm a dad, and it's it's not as hyped or as difficult to cop New Balance shoes, and I, I do think their quality is, is like superb. I mean, the execution of the product, when they bring out a product, I mean, it's like, it's hard to beat, um, but people just don't buy it because it's not the hype stuff. It's not signed by super big rappers or names or stuff like that. But when you actually get the quality shoe, it, I mean, it is quality. But on here, uh, I, I like the sound too. Uh, this is the Big Rally Blue Raspberry one. You got the logo up front. You got the dude sliding into a base, probably second after he stole. When you're a kid, Everybody wanted to have the big league, the big water of gum, when, at least when I was a kid, which was ages ago, right? And inside the shoe, uh, before I take out the shoes, you actually have, and if you know, if you're a fan of the gum, you know, I don't wanna make too much of a mess, but it gives you like this shred of paper. And this paper is supposed to like represent the gum that usually comes in the bag. So I just, I don't know, man, this is super, super cool on the execution. Then you get down to the shoes, and so here's the first pair with all the paper in it. The first pair on pictures, I was, uh, I thought it was a little bit more different than what it is, but in the end, it's still a super, super cool shoe. I just don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping it. Like I probably would have personally preferred a different midsole instead of navy because the blue and the navy are two different colors. And so I would have preferred maybe a white midsole or a purple midsole or a pink midsole uh, because it, it does come with four different colors i guess representing the blue raspberry you got your pinks your blues and your purples 
on the inside of the shoe, on um, the, what is shoe is this, the right? You have the actual colorway or the flavor of the shoe. On um, the inside of this shoe, you have New Balance, which is obviously the one who made it. And the stuff that's super dope is the back, the heel tab or heel counter or whatever, whatever the technical term is. Uh, but it's made of this nice mesh. It's stretchy. What I do appreciate, and I haven't tried this pair on, but what I do appreciate is that padding inside here. It looks like it's gonna be pretty comfortable. And even though it's like this sock liner thingy majiggy, the padding on the ankle I think is, is a nice touch. So I do think it's gonna be pretty comfy. On the inside it has New Balance and Big League Chew. So again, these are just cool little colorways. Uh, that's the first one. But the one that I'm happy with, because I, I already seen these, obviously. I'm gonna keep this one. This is a for sure keep. This is the OG original bubble gum. All right. Again, you got the nice cool bag on the back. It gives like a story of each one. And this is what I think is really dope. I'm not gonna read all of this, but you have a story about Big League Chew and New Balance and gives you your calorie intake for the shoe, JK, but it actually gives you what it weighs. The swagger level is at 100, so that's pretty cool. You got your Instagram info, Facebook info, and again, same thing. Now here's where I do think they kind of lag. This is the original. So if those of you who are fans of the original, you know that the original gum is pink. What they decided to put in here, at least in my pair, is white paper. So I do think that a nice touch, but maybe they didn't because you'll see why. A nice touch would have been to put pink paper. I'm going to assume they didn't put the pink paper because you have an all white shoe. And Maybe that pink paper would rub onto the knit, and then that would make the shoe very ugly and not very desirable. Now this pair, I think is absolutely bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-S, bananas, okay? So this pair, some paper right here. This pair here, it's just, it's, it's like original Americana shoe. Uh, you got your red, white, and blue. I do love this hint of this volt or yellow that they put on the New Balance N. And it's just a nice, beautiful looking shoe. You have this red outsole. And then I did point out on the outsole, on each of the right shoes, it's like a little stain, but it's not actually a stain. It's as if you stepped on a piece of gum. And so, man, looking at these by, side by side, I mean, I guess maybe I'll keep them both. We'll see. Trying not to though, but this pair for sure is a keeper. This is just gonna be super fresh looking. I, I hear that this fuel cell echo stuff is pretty comfy. I don't I know runners like to use it. I I've never owned a pair of fuel cell fuel cell echoes before. I believe that's what the model of this shoe is, is the fuel cell echo. It doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure that's what I've researched. And the this is what I think is cool. You can't really tell on the blue pair because it's blue and pink but you got your stitching for the baseball, your stitching again. I mean, it's just everything represents baseball. And then you got the cool dude in the back with his Oakleys on. That would have been an even better collab, right? A New Balance, Oakley, and a Big League Chew all in one. How cool would that have been? But, you know, whatever. And it's just a, it's just an overall cool looking shoe, man. And so I'm gonna slap these bad boys on later on, post some on-feet picks and I will let you know down the road if I think they're comfortable or not, or if they're good. This one's just keeping though, this was an automatic. Uh, you got your out of here original on the inside panel of the right shoe, new balance patching. And that's what's cool, it's kind of like, uh, it's imitating embroidery. I mean, I don't know if it actually is embroidered or not, but it imitates that it is. And I think that's what's pretty cool about it. So anyways, I just thought I'd get back to making a video since we're all quarantined here and I'm trying to keep myself busy along with my family and keeping you guys entertained. And I just dropped a bunch of stuff. So I just thought, eh, you know, let's start off and get back on the saddle and make some videos. And it's not gonna be a great video, but it's something at least to entertain you for the time being while you're sitting at home. So tell me in the comments, you know, I'll be like a YouTuber. In your comments below, tell me which pair do you like better? Do you like the blue and pink and, or the blue, the blue raspberry flavor? Do you like the blue raspberry flavor better? Or do you like the out of here original flavor? So both to me are, are super cool looking shoes. And I don't know, keeper, not so keeper. I prefer this one. Um, this is like, now the green one, I wish I would've got the green one. 
I think that was sour apple. I wish I would've got the green one. I didn't, big regret, because I can't find my size anywhere now. So these are actually, these are actually sold out. These I think you could find on DickSportingGoods.com. Um, I think there's some other colorways on there, but this, this color area here is completely gone. I don't think you can find this one anymore. So I'm glad I picked it up when I saw it. Not too many people knew about this drop. So anyways, Big League Chew, New Balance, DBKS underscore daddy. And that's my video for today. I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone is following the orders of only going out and getting your essentials. Hopefully you're washing your hands and staying healthy. If you're not feeling good, please make sure to monitor yourself, self quarantine yourself and wash your hands, okay? Uh, for the rest of us that are doing that, thank you. For those that aren't, hey, reconsider some of the things that you guys are doing out there. And then I wanna wish you all good health, good fortune, and let's hopefully, let's hope 2020 takes a turn for the better. At DBKS underscore daddy, leave a comment, thumbs up, smack a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. We are out of here. Peace.